So in this video, we're going to be compositing a 2D footage with a CG element in Unreal Engine 4 using After Effects, Maya, and then Unreal Engine 4. Now we need After Effects in Maya because as you can see here, we have a footage that's a little bit shaky and I did this uh, purposely so I can track it and then put it in Maya and then export that camera from Maya to Unreal Engine 4. Now I'm going to be splitting this tutorial up to uh, two tutorials so that it is easy to find on YouTube. With that being said, let's go ahead and I ha already had my footage imported here. It's a simple footage and then what you're also going to need is the Adobe Autodesk Live Link. So let's see if I can pull that up. It's right here. It's the Autodesk Maya Live Link. It's pretty much letting you uh, connect After Effects and Maya using this plugin. It's really, really helpful. It's amazing. Okay, so going back to After Effects, the first thing we are going to need here is just to track it. So let's go pull up our tracker. I'm going to track the camera and it's going to do its thing. Now you can use other trackers out there, but I'm just using the built-in tracker, 3D tracker, and After Effects for this. Okay, so once that tracker is done tracking, let's go ahead and take a look. Turn this on. So you can see it created some points there and I'm just going to go click like maybe right here and I'm going to say create solid and camera. Right? So we have that. Let's go back and you can see it's tracked even though it doesn't look like it's tracked really well but you know, it's just probably just the footage I have. But next thing we're going to do is actually click this 3D tracker camera and we're gonna go ahead and pop out, pop open the Maya Live Link. Okay, drag this to that. You're gonna get a little check mark and then we can go jump to Maya. And as you can see now connected to tracking three. And as you can see here, it created a camera. So now you see that movement is mimicking the camera in After Effects. So that's what we want. Let's take a look at some uh, settings here just to make sure that everything is good to go. Animation preference, 24 frames per second, and that's good because that's the same frame rate I have in After Effects. So let's go back. We're going to go to panels, and then we're going to go take a look at this camera. There it is. So you can see that it is moving, and that is good to go. All right, so what we're going to do next is just create a little... If you go to your outliner right here, uh, if you don't know how to pull that up, you can just go to Windows and then outliner right here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is click the tracker camera and I'm gonna go to environment, create, and then what I'm gonna do is look for the files. So it should be tracking uh, tutorial, there it is. And now we can see our little footage, all right? All right, so now that we have that camera in there, let's go ahead and bake this animation. So what I'm gonna do is edit, keys click this little square button we're going to reset it and then we're going to go to from channel box and then we're going to go to uh oh sorry from channel box and that's pretty much it okay so after that's done all we got to do is export this to unreal engine 4 so if you go to file we're going to go to export options right here we can go ahead and reset we're going to go to FBX because that what it, that's what it takes pretty much. And then go ahead, scroll this down, export all. And then it's going to tell me, ask me where to put it. I'm just going to put it right here. Camera, export all. And that's pretty much it, guys. So now what we're going to do is import this in Unreal Engine 4. All right, guys. So now that we're in Unreal Engine 4 to import the camera from Maya and After Effects, all we have to do is create our sequence. And then over here, I'm going to change this to 24 frames per second. And then I'm going to create a new camera. I'm going to right click the cinema camera actor, import, go ahead and choose that. Leave everything blank except for reduce keys, press import and voila. There you go. Now you can see your camera movement from After Effects. So if you were to put, let's say like a cone here, you can see that that's tracked. So right now, you probably know where I'm going to go with this tutorial. So yeah, this is the first part of it. And I'll see you guys in the next part. And let me know if you guys have any questions. See ya.